Hey, New City, and welcome back to the $5 Gift Club, where we believe through small amounts, we can make a big impact. This month, I was able to sit down with Maria Owen as she shares her incredible story of how she found freedom through Jesus after years of abusive relationship. Maria is now a huge advocate with our friends over at Call to Peace Ministries, helping women who are going through similar situations. We cannot wait to share with you how your generosity made an impact this month. So I'm sitting here at New City Church with my new friend, Maria, um, who I believe, I haven't heard it yet, but I've been told that you have an incredible story and you're doing incredible things now because of your story. Um, and so, yeah, why don't we just jump right in it, Maria? Tell us a little bit about yourself, your kids, and what the last year, year and a half has looked like for you up until this point. I have three little babies. My son is three years old and I have identical twin baby girls. He just turned two. That's awesome. And last year, after a four year long marriage to my ex-husband, I finally decided to leave him um, because he was abusive. Mm. And he went and took the home from me, took the kids, he took full custody of them. And he left me without children, homeless, and it was a struggle to get on my feet. What was it like when you were married for those four years? What did your life look like during that abuse? Terrifying and I felt trapped hmm. because I don't, I'm a Christian and I don't believe in divorce. And that was a huge part of the reason why I didn't leave. I also, you know, I, I loved my husband and I mm. wanted my marriage to work and I didn't want my kids separated. Yeah. So, so what got you to the point where you felt like it's time for me to leave? It was mostly after this is our third separation. And I thought he said, I'll stop. I'll change. I'll go get help. I'll do marriage counseling. He said yeah. all the right things to get me back. And I still, you know, believed in no divorce. I wanted my marriage to work, so I went back to him. And then as soon as we signed the reconciliation papers, he was right back to being controlling and abusive. And at that point, that's when I realized, you know, maybe this isn't what God wants for me. Yeah. And there's possibility of getting out. And so now you're you're a huge advocate for our friends at Call to Peace. Yes. Um, what does that look like there? What is your role in helping women who are going through the same things that you went through? Why are you so passionate about that? Because I understand the pain. I understand why women stay. You know, at, it's their choice to leave though. So I just am there as, a, you know, support, as help. Right. To, to do what I can, a crying shoulder or whatever go to court with them. Yeah. So how can we pray for you today? What does that look like? Um, obviously you've bounced back. Um, you're doing really, really cool things um, today, but how can we pray for Maria, for your family, for your kids? What would that prayer look like? I have a wonderful relationship with God and I fully trust that he has wonderful plans for me, but I also have, you know, Satan puts a lot of stumbling blocks in mm. my way and especially with my controlling ex-husband he's still in the picture and constantly yeah you know and i just want to be a strong christian and be loving and kind but not you know be mean to him yeah so it's just it's a struggle it's a daily struggle to have to deal with that still i think your story is something that many people have struggled with probably a lot of women that don't even they're not even out of that yet they're still dealing with it um but I just think it's so encouraging that even in the midst of him doing a lot of things, you're looking at it as I have control over what I do. So God, what, yeah, what does it look like for, for me to be gracious, for me to be kind, even probably when I don't want to. So I think that's, that's really encouraging. Um, and so Maria, we, we think that your story is encouraging, that it helps a lot of people. And obviously you are helping a lot of people through call to peace, through how you're living life now. But we also have something at New City, which is why I invited you here to the church to not only share your story, but we also have something here called the $5 Give Club, where we invite all of the people at New City Church to give an additional $5 on top of their normal giving. And so while we wanted to hear your story, we also heard 
from Kathy, from our friends at Call to Peace, how great you were and the difference you were making. And so we wanted to make a small difference in helping a little bit. And so I didn't tell you about this, but I do have a check for $526 with your name on it, just because they said Maria would be an excellent recipient for our gift club. And so this is yours, $526. We just want to help because you are making a difference in the way that you live your life. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh wow, that's amazing. Thank You're welcome. You so we, we, we hope that that helps. Um, we really believe that you're doing amazing things, even in the midst of sufferings, even in the midst of trials. And so we just pray that that continues, that you keep inspiring a lot of people. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It. We do this every month. Um, and so Kathy, you know, was like, yeah, you were the first person that she said, just because you've done cool things and you're doing cool things. Are you serious? I swear. I swear. Wow. So, I was just praying yesterday because I was like, I don't know how to pay one of my bills this week. Well, and I don't get paid till Friday. And I, but I, I'm always like telling Kathy, like, I know God will provide.